Yellowstone is home to an active supervolcano. When it last erupted more than 600,000 years ago, it was a thousand times larger than Mount St. Helen. In her Yellowstone Revealed series, Penny Preston examines the possible dangers of a future eruption. Yellowstone was created as the world's first national park in 1872 because Congress was impressed with its amazing and scenic thermal features. Indeed, Yellowstone has the largest concentration of thermals in the world, and people come from all over the world to see them still. The geysers, fumaroles, and hot springs are part of one of the world's largest active supervolcanoes. Dr. Robert Smith is considered a leading expert on Yellowstone's supervolcano. He started studying Yellowstone's geology in the 50s. He is the only person to photograph from the air the world's tallest geyser, steamboat, as it erupted. It was July 6, 1984. Smith says his plane was running out of fuel and he was about to return to West Yellowstone when he took the picture of the eruption. And that's a very spectacular picture because it shows the hot water height to about 500 feet and then the steam height to about another 500 feet and there was a mist cloud another 500 feet above that. When Smith's studies revealed the magma pool beneath the supervolcano was much larger than previously thought. Before we thought it was oh, 20 kilometers long, we discovered just this year that it's two and a half times bigger, 2.5 times. It's 90 kilometers long. People were concerned it meant the supervolcano might erupt again sooner than previously thought. In several interviews, right. Dr. Smith so said it again and again. The probability of a large giant eruption, super eruptions, is 0.00014% per year. So, dying from the big one is not likely anytime soon. But Smith pointed out Yellowstone area geological features can kill. How? It's earthquakes. Dr. Smith says a magnitude 7 earthquake hits the area every 700 to 1,000 years. 1959, the Hebgen Lake earthquake ruptured only a fault was 40 kilometers long. It killed 28 people. But these things dominate the hazard. They are 95% of the total risk of Yellowstone. For MTN News, I'm Penny Preston reporting with Yellowstone Revealed.